I have about seven and a half hours until I have to get up and get ready to take Timmy to the vet. And I'm pretty nervous, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to sleep. So it's a little before 6 a.m. and I did not sleep well at all and I woke up with a bad headache so not a good start to the day but I don't have a choice but to push forward so I hope this isn't a bad sign that today is not going to go well for Timmy. So now I get to go clean and feed the bunnies and then we have to go. I finally got news about Timmy. About five o'clock my phone rang and it was the veterinarian from the Avon Lake Animal Clinic um, where I took Timmy and Dr. Krupka said that Timmy came through the surgery, he made it through the anesthesia and they were able to repair the hernia. Apparently it was part of his bladder that was protruding through the hernia which sounds like it would be incredibly painful, but the doctor said it probably wasn't since Timmy was able to you know, urinate and pee out um, some of the pressure that was in there. So that should be repaired and the hole closed up enough to where that won't happen again. And he was also neutered. Timmy has dissolvable stitches and is hopping up, moving already, which he must be hopped up on meds to be moving around after a major surgery like that. But I'm just so thankful. And the doctor feels that Timmy would probably do better if we came and pick him up tonight as opposed to him spending the night. And I agree that, you know, he probably would be happier in his environment here where he's comfortable. At least I think he's comfortable. Got the air conditioning on. Camilla has literally been sitting underneath Timmy's enclosure all day which she likes to do, but she didn't have Timmy to stare up at today. So I think seeing all the friendly faces in there and just being back in his normal environment probably would be beneficial for him. I'm a little bit nervous because tomorrow's the 4th of July and it's a holiday. And you know, if something were to go wrong, I'm not sure who will be available there. Um, but we'll cross that bridge if that happens. And I'm getting some pain meds for Timmy got some pain meds for me because all that worrying mama developed a full-blown migraine today and I ended up having to go to the doctor myself so that's pretty much better and thankfully I'm able to keep some food and water down now too much information right but anyhow yeah so we're gonna go see him and I'm just so relieved and I appreciate all of just the outpouring of kind thoughts and supportive comments uh, yet again from yesterday's video and yeah i appreciate all the prayers and it looks like they worked so thank you to everyone who made this possible and my plan is to have camilla spayed this summer if timmy's recovery goes well get her spayed this summer and then hopefully they could become a bonded pair and live together I was concerned that the doctor might not want to perform a spay on a doe who's almost five, but he said actually the older the better. The complications that tend to arise are usually with the younger bunnies around five, six months. So he said he would not be concerned about doing that and probably that will happen. Let's go get Timmy. There he is. 
right to me. In addition to the Appetite Restore, which is like a Gatorade, it's a powdered mix, and it has lots of yummy stuff in there. He took to that really well, and I did mix some of this probios, probiotics in there with it. And then I am giving him a little bit of this Sherwood brand uh, recovery food. This was in a multi-pack, they're little single serve packets, but he's not gonna eat the whole thing. So I mixed part of the bag with about one and a half, two tablespoons of water. I didn't want to force feed him. So what I've been doing is just kind of scraping this up on the end of the syringe there. And he's been licking that off. So I'm going to keep going with that until I see him eating anything on his own. I am going to make sure he's eating something and staying hydrated. So. He doesn't get GI stasis because that would be really bad. Hmm, that looks so appetizing, doesn't it? <laughs> Yuck. So I've got it on my finger and he's been licking it off. Let's see if he'll do that again. It's 7 a.m. and I came out here to check on Timmy. Cammy wants to check on him too. The good news is he ate his parsley and I gave him a willow branch. And what else did I have in there? I had a digestive tablet that was gone when I came in. So he was eating a little bit last night and I do see some poo balls. So that's a good sign. I don't think he's moved far. I see some over here. That's Sunny over there digging in his hay. <laughs> Hi, Cammie. You're looking for your tinny, aren't you? He doesn't look like he's moving around a lot, but I did just give him his pain medicine for the day. So I'm hoping once that kicks in, maybe he will hop around a bit. But that's promising. I was worried that there would be no poo balls and that he wouldn't be sitting up at all. He was hunkered down in the meatloaf position when I first came in, but he really, he, I didn't even have to force that medicine in him. He was really good about it. Some bunnies aren't. I've got Timmy's breakfast ready to go here. We have the Sherwood recovery food here mixed with water. And I'm just going to feed that to him on my finger like I did last night. He was licking it off last night, so I'm hoping I don't have to use the syringe because he probably won't like that. And this is the Sherwood Appetite Restore, which, like I said, is kind of like a bunny electrolyte mix. And it's a powder, and I think it's one scoop and three cc's of water per pound of body weight. And Timmy weighs three pounds, so he got three scoops, and he got a little extra water. So I'm hoping that he will take all this. That's some good hydration for him. So let's see how it goes. I just gave him some fresh parsley and I rinsed it in water and I didn't shake the water off too much so he should get some of that liquid which he needs 
And then I also gave him some dried plantain herb leaves. So that's these guys right here. And I anticipated that he wouldn't be eating well, so I picked and washed and dried a bunch of these last week. The dried ones should be easier on his tummy. I don't want to give him too much wet and green stuff until he's eating more pellets. But that, that's good that he's eating something. That's, that's a start, huh buddy? We're happy to see you eating. It was probably difficult to tell, but there is an incision on his abdomen. And I know he also has two from getting neutered, and those are pretty small, but the one on his abdomen is certainly larger, but it does not look inflamed. It does not look infected. So it looks like it's okay right now. So as long as he doesn't mess with it and then have to get the cone of shame, or it doesn't get infected, I think it's good. So. I know what it looks like now. I have to keep checking on that daily. Make sure that's doing okay. So I'm gonna put him back in his nice confined area and hopefully he will eat. And I'm gonna keep checking back on him throughout the day today. So that's where we're at right now. I'm so thankful that he is back and he survived the surgery. Thank you all for making Timmy's surgery possible and encouraging me to get that done for him. So that's it for today. I will do my best to keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching.